Hello everyone! In today's tutorial I will show you how to make a batch prediction with your AutoML image classification model. This tutorial is split into three parts. First, focuses on creating input dataset for a batch prediction job from files stored in cloud storage. Second, on creating batch prediction job. And the last one, on transforming raw file results from batch prediction job into tabular format. They are all marked as separate chapters, so you can skip to the part that you are interested in. It's also worth mentioning that I will be working with the Lemon Quality Classification Model, which I created in my previous tutorial. OK, now we are ready to jump to the first part. Let's start with understanding how the input file should look like. So here we are on the official Google documentation. And as you can see, the input data requirements section says that for the image classification models, you can use a JSON lines file to specify a list of images to make a predictions. And here we can see one of the examples. And actually only this first part content is required as it actually stores the address inside of the cloud storage. And the second one, this MIME type is optional. So now let me jump to the cloud storage. And here I have my folder where I have all images that I want to store. So in order to create input file, I will have to take from each of this file, this gsutil URI. And of course we won't be doing that manually, but I will show you a code which can easily do this. So let's jump to the Vertex AI workbook and do it. So. First, let me start with importing some necessary libraries. I'm also creating a client, a cloud storage client and bucket. And inside of this bucket, there, there is this folder, which I showed you uh, seconds ago. Now let's use um, this gcloud storage ls command to get addresses of all files with the file uh, jpg extension from gcp to csv file so let's do it so it will create this images uri csv so let me click and open that and as you can see i have a list of all files from my folder and uh, the corresponding addresses so now let's create a data frame from, from this uh, CSV file. Now let's create a list with GCS addresses of images. So we actually only want the first part of our data frame. And now we'll use this path list. Um, so this holds all the um, addresses and we'll use that in that list comprehension to create an input file according to the requirements. So let me run this. Uh, let's save the input file locally. So I created input file dot json l. So let's double click on that and see how it looks. Um, so yeah, we have it according to our um, requirements. And the last part is actually that I will export this input file to the cloud storage. So let me do this. Let me go back to the cloud storage. And as you can see, we have our input file. And this is what we'll be using in the next section. All right, so I'm inside batch prediction notebook. And here I will show you how to create a batch prediction job. So first, let me just import the Vertex AI library and initialize the connection. Next, I need to get the model that will make a batch prediction for us. So for that, I will use um, the model ID. And you can get your model ID, of course, from the Vertex AI. So let's go to the deploy and use model registry. I have just one model and only one version. And now you need to go to the version details 
and here you can see the model ID. So this is the model ID that I'm using to retrieve this model inside of the notebook. So let me do this. Also, just out of curiosity, we can check the supported batch prediction job input formats. So for this uh, type of a model, you see that the only one which is su supported is JSON-L. All right, so now let me define some variables. So, uh, so first one is job display name. This will be a lemon. GCAS source. This is just the input file uh, which I created in the previous section, which I uploaded into Google Cloud Storage. And GCS destination pre prefix uh, serves as a place, as a bucket where the results will be uploaded after the batch prediction job will be finished. So let's define those. And let me create a batch prediction job. So now, we can see our batch prediction job here. So as you can see, it shows us that it has um, 2,528 images to score when it was started. And if we go back, you can see its status and it will be slowly and scoring all the images and we'll get back there once it's finished. Okay, so the job has been finished. You can see that it took around 30 minutes and it was successfully finished. So now we can go to the notebook. Uh, here you can also see that it has been completed. Now let's get the job output folder and you can see that's inside of the bucket that I specified here in those uh, argument uh, code section. So let's go to the cloud storage and you can see that inside of this bucket we have this folder prediction lemon quality model and then some unique string with a date. Let's click it and here you can see we have all the files with our predictions. Right now, what you can see is one of the files with the results from our batch prediction job. Each line in this file is a separate prediction. First, we see the scored image address, and then we have the prediction scores itself. So let me scroll all the way to the right. So values in the display names, array, we have array here. They correspond to the values in the confidences array, which means that, for example, for this first image, we have the biggest confidence or the biggest probability, which is roughly 99% for the good label. So this is actually what we are predicting for this example. In the next one, we have a very similar score, but for the bad label. And this continues throughout the entire file. And of course, uh, JSON lines file can be very helpful, but we would like to get our predictions into tabular format. So right now, I will show you how to do it. So for that purpose, I will be using the transform predictions notebook. And let's go through the code which is inside this notebook. So first let me import required libraries and define the cloud storage client. Next I need to get the batch prediction job in order to work with it later. So what I need to get is its job ID. So let me go to the vertex AI, go to the batch predictions, click on the one that we run and let me copy the ID and paste it there. So this is how we can retrieve our batch prediction job. Now I need to get the job output folder, which is called like that. And this is together with this um, part, which refers to bucket and the fact that this is inside of the cloud storage. So now I need to create a prefix to filter the blob. 
So I'm what I'm basically doing, I'm removing that part uh, which is responsible for um, the bucket address. And what I have is this string which shows me, which basically gives me the name of the folder. And in a second, I will show you how we'll be using that. And the next step here is to define cloud storage client and bucket where the results are stored that we want to transform. And now let me create an iterator, but I will be uh, listing basically uh, files which are inside of uh, the selected bucket, but I don't want to have anything, uh, everything from this uh, bucket, because as you can see, here I have not only the predictions, but also a um, folder with images to score and this input file. So that is why I'm using prefix to filter this bucket. So let me show you all the files with the predictions. So here we see all the names and this is in line with what we have here. That's great. Um, now I want to show you a few of the predictions uh, to generally show you um, the format uh, which we already discussed as well. And now I have this longer chunk of code um, which basically does all the work. So here first I'm creating placeholders for prediction results. Next I'm iterating over each file in cloud storage. So we have like 10 files to iterate through. I'm downloading this data. And next I'm iterating over each prediction in that file. And I'm appending that basically to the uh, specific, specific uh, array that I created. So let me run this. It was very fast and successful. So now let me create a data frame with those results. So we'll have three columns, uh, cloud storage URI, predicted label, and the confidence. So yeah, here you can see that we created. So we basically transformed this format into tabular one. This concludes the tutorial. I showed you how to create input file, run the prediction job, and then transform the output of this prediction job into tabular format. Thank you for watching.